Welcome to Simply Science Class 101, where I experiment with some crazy f***ed up shit on my nails, so you don't have to. Is it a distant cousin of the unicorn, a rabid insect, a majestic beetle, or maybe just what's in your TV screen? and your cell phone. And whatever else other LCD screens you have that you press that make really cool colors and that you shouldn't be pressing because that's bad for it, don't do that. But yes, what's on my nails right now is the same shit that's inside your TV screen and your computer monitor. It's called liquid crystal and that's where LCD comes from, liquid crystal displays. Wow, what do you know, that makes too much sense. Of course your TVs and other screens are made up of a whole bunch of different layers of shit, but liquid crystal is somewhere in the middle. Now because I am not a scientist and I actually don't know anything about this, I'm just gonna quickly show you this Wikipedia page about liquid crystal displays. Did you get it? Did you get it? Good. Now if this weird ivory paste I'm showing you in a bottle right now is liquid crystal, how the f does it do all those magical color changing things? The most concise definition for why it does that that I could find is this one. And yep, yeah, that's still not English to me. But basically, from what I understand, it means when you press down on the liquid crystal, it pushes the shit around and makes it reflect light at different angles, causing it to change into cool colors and shit. Subscribe to my channel if you want me to be your science teacher. Now because you're a smartass, your next question is probably, is this shit safe for your nails? Let's look at the ingredients. I don't know what the f any of that means. There's also very little information online as to whether or not it's safe to put on your skin. I'm also pretty sure they're not FDA approved for use in cosmetics. So basically, you should not do what I'm doing right now, but I'm willing to take the risk for you to test out this potentially deadly substance on my nails. If I don't upload a video next week, you'll know why. But in case you want to get some of this shit and you're going to put it on other things other than your body parts and you won't sue me for it, I put the link down below where I got it and I even got you a discount code. That's right, use code SIMPLY to save some money. And because I don't know how this works, first we got to do some experiments. That's right, it's time to do experiments. Apparently it works best with a black base, so first I'm just putting some black polish on a nail art mat. Then I'm applying the liquid crystal with a random paintbrush. It doesn't apply that smoothly like nail polish and we have very high standards. Let it dry, probably took about 20 minutes. And now for the touch test. Ooh, ooh, did you see that? Yeah. Wow, that is freaking cool. According to the instructions, you're supposed to seal this stuff with a clear protectant. In nail language, I think they mean a glossy taco, so we're just gonna go with that. Immediately after applying it, it kind of went black, but then about 10 minutes later, it was all sorts of different colors. And when I press it, it makes it more blue. Here's another test swatch without the glossy taco, and as I rub it, it goes from green to blue. All right, I think I'm understanding this, so let's level up to nail swatches. Still not my real nail, still testing. Just apply Applying some black nail polish. And what I've done here is tried out different thicknesses of the liquid crystal because I wasn't sure if I need more or less. Let's check in on the ones on the right. Yep, they're definitely working. I'm gonna apply a quick dry glossy taco on one half of the test nails and clear nail polish on the other half. Now if you've seen my videos before, you know that there is a big difference between the two. A quick dry glossy taco is much thicker than a clear polish and it has stuff in it that makes it speed up the drying process so there's different chemical composition or whatever. You can also see that they have some kind of impact on the color of the liquid crystal stuff. Weird. The science is real. So for whatever reason, all my other tests kind of failed and they lost the color changing effect, mostly staying black and blue. So let's try something new. How about using black acrylic paint instead of black nail polish? Acrylic paint might have less of a chemical reaction with the liquid crystal because nail polish has more chemicals in it and it might react differently. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making this shit up, okay? <laughs> Once the acrylic paint was dry, we paint on a thick coat of liquid crystal for this nail and a thinner coat on the next nail. Let it dry, it took about half an hour for me. And now I'm gonna apply a glossy taco on one of them and clear nail polish on the other. About 20 minutes later, the kids must have done drugs or something because this shit is whack. Ooh, let's touch them. Oh. So what I'm learning is that the more you touch them, the more blue and black you make it. Ooh, how about this thick one that I have yet to put a taco on? 
<gasps> That's the most satisfying thing I have ever seen. I don't think I can stop touching it. And now that we've completed all those experiments, I think I'm ready to put it on my nails. I got the skills, I have the knowledge. No, I don't. <laughs> Who gives a f Let's proceed. I didn't film this part, but I am wearing a peel off base coat under this to help protect me and also for peel porn. Stay tuned till the end. Now I'm just applying some black acrylic paint with a paintbrush on my nails. Acrylic paint dries super quickly, so when that's dry, I started applying the liquid crystal because I wasn't sure if this was gonna burn my skin off. I did take precautions and scrape it off my finger. When it starts to dry, it looks really cool. Ooh, it's like a natural gradient. And about 15 to 20 minutes later, my middle finger looked like this. I'm just gonna add a second coat because I feel like it needs to be thicker to have a super multicolored effect. And clean the skin, prevent the cancer, yada yada. About 20 minutes later, they looked more boring and brown. Let's investigate. So if I touch down gently, it starts to turn the copper and brown parts more green. And if you push down even more, it makes the green blue. Now let's seal everything with a quick dry glossy taco. So crazy how it changes the color right in front of your eyes. Wow, science, why didn't I pay more attention to you in high school? Well, that looks like shit, but don't worry, 20 minutes later, my nails look like this. Oh yeah. So obviously there's some kind of temperature impact on the liquid crystal because the tips of my nails are cooler than the base of my nails. And when you rub it, it does even crazier shit. So some of you might be asking, well, isn't this the same thing as thermal nail polish? And scientifically speaking, no, it's definitely not. Show me a thermal nail polish that does this kind of shit. <laughs> From what I understand, the liquid crystals can be affected both by temperature, but also by pushing them around and changing the refraction angle of the light, which changes the colors. At least that's what I understood. So in that sense, it's sort of similar to thermal nail polish, but it's kind of more of a scattered effect once you start pressing on it and playing around. How about some blow dryer action? This is going from room temperature to hot air. I stuck my hand in the freezer for a few seconds and it looked like this. It kind of reminds me of when copper oxidizes on really old buildings. Now I'm just blowing some more hot air on it and woohoo. My nails are literally an earth topography map. At least you remember those, right? Cause those were so colorful and pretty. Ooh, I know, now let's dip them in some cold water. Experimenting is so fun. Whoa. See, I don't just do stupid videos, okay? I teach you things. This is actual science. Open your eyes. Look at the science. It's right in front of you. Let's put an ice cube on it. Wow. That's like pushing it and making it cold. Those liquid crystals must be freaking the f out. But as with every science experiment fair, it must come to an end and you probably lost. As you can see, my experiment is starting to rip up. And looking back at the footage, I know I am directly responsible for this. I failed to completely seal the nail with the glossy taco, leaving the liquid crystal vulnerable and exposed to water, which I don't think it can mix with. The water kind of deteriorates it and yeah, shit falls apart from there. All the other edges of my nails are good, so I'm assuming it's just because I missed a patch of glossy taco. And this is the part of the video where the new people confirm that I am crazy because it sounds like I'm talking about putting food on my nails. What a good time for peel porn then. Yeah, let me see you peel, girl. Whoa, that's a peel like I've never seen before. What's happening? It's like shedding itself in layers. I guess this makes sense actually, because you don't just want to take it all off at once, you know? You gotta be strategic about it. First we take off the glossy taco layer, tease you just a little bit. Then we try and peel off just the liquid crystal layer, but it's hard because our bras and panties are stuck to it. All right, well, let's just take it all off. We're here now. Oh, and then you gotta struggle with them pasties that won't get unstuck. This nail, on the other hand, got naked real quick. It was not messing around with that multiple layer bullshit. Nah. -uh. As soon as I took it off my nail, it changed from blue to green almost immediately. <gasps> The science never ends. Oh, hey there, other hand. I almost forgot about you. I was so distracted by the science. Stay tuned for one of my next videos, which is gonna show you how I did these nails. And they are actually nail art, not just weird random bullshit videos. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this Simply Science Lesson 101. Be sure to go tell your science teachers all about liquid crystals. I'm sure you know everything you need to know now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you.